What's going on guys? Today I have the brand new late 2018 Mac Mini, a long needed upgrade to the Mac Mini lineup. And before we do anything else, I just wanna unbox this, tear it down and see how we upgrade the RAM. With this year's model, it looks like we are supposed to be able to upgrade the RAM. The solid state is not upgradable, um, as well as any other component such as the CPU and graphics card. So again, the only thing we can upgrade on this model is the RAM, and let's go ahead and take a look at that. I have some tools here with me as well, but in the description, I will list the completely needed tools to disassemble this Mac Mini. So this is my first time doing this. So again, these tools aren't confirmed, but in the description, I will leave a link to the tools necessary. So this is what this year's Mac Mini looks like. On the back, we have to peel this sticker first. On the back, we have power button, power cord, ethernet, the USB-C ports, HDMI, and two USB 3.0s, as well as a headphone and possibly a microphone in jack right there. Cooling vents right there. And then on the front, we have the um, a light here and I assume there should be an IR emitter that's probably hidden between behind the aluminum. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's pop off the back panel. This year's model looks great with the space gray. Now to take off the back, I'm just going to grab a credit card here and we just pry it gently up. There you go. The bottom is popped off. I believe this is still the same type of screws as the previous year's model. So I'm just gonna use this screwdriver that I have already. So this is a T6 Torx security screw. Now what is special about this screwdriver is it has a hole in the center. So be careful when you purchase these, these aren't standard Torx screwdrivers. Now after the bottom case is loose. We're gonna pull up gently. There is an antenna cable connected to this. So let's find where that is. And it looks, it's very short. So again, be very careful with this. We're gonna set that aside. There is a small little screw in here, right here. You're gonna take that screwdriver again, the T6. Loosen that up. This is this is what holds the antenna in place. We're gonna set this screw aside. And then gently, we're gonna pry up on this antenna connector. And there you go. The antenna connector has been disconnected. We're gonna set this aside here. Now I am gonna take apart the fan. So there is a screw right here at the top. Again, same screwdriver we're using here. Second screw right here has been removed. And there are two coming into the side right here. So I'm just gonna turn this Mac Mini around and go from the side here. So our two screws, I loosened them up, but they have fallen into the logic board. That's okay. We'll remove those after we take out the fan. We're going to gently peel up on the fan. You'll notice there is a connector on the fan as well. Right there. It looks like this connector you just pull straight up on like so, and it pops right out. So we'll set the fan aside. Now, again, those fan screws, I have one here. One more right here. Now it looks like the logic board is secured into place with these rather large torch screws. I believe these are a T10. So with my screwdriver kit, it looks like a T10 will take these screws out. However, you do still have a little wiggle room. So maybe that is a special screwdriver, but I will confirm in the description but it does look like a T10 will definitely work. 
All right, guys, so after we have removed the two logic board screws, which again, T10, we are going to remove this one connector up top right here. And we simply just pull up on it. So I'll just use a screwdriver, pop it up, and that will remove that one. And then we are going to remove the logic board connect, um, the, sorry, the power supply. Simply just pull up on that and that disconnects. After those are loose, we will push against the heat sink, which will push the entire logic board out of the computer. There you go. Now, once that is removed, we have access to the RAM, which is located right here. We will need to remove these torque screws here to get access to that, but let's quickly take a look at this logic board. So this is the back of it. Uh, this is holding the CPU heat sink in place, which connects all the way over here, and the fail the fan cools and pushes the air out through there. Have a speaker here. Looks like a CMOS battery here. And I believe this would be the SSD. So this is P PCI SSD, which is soldered onto the motherboard, which means this is not gonna be user upgradable. So let's take a look at the RAM. So the RAM appears to be T5 screws. Again, T5 torque screws. And there are four screws holding in this mesh shield. So we are going to pop off this mesh shield now. Oh, and it looks like it slides out. And this gives us access to the RAM. There are two rubber pieces here. I'm just going to actually remove those pieces just so you guys have a better idea of how these RAM pieces are held into place. You pop these metal tabs up and you can pull the RAM right out of the logic board. To install new RAM, simply line up the DIMMs and push it down into place and that will lock the RAM in there. So standard four gigs and four gigs, which makes up eight gigs on the base model Mac mini. There you go, that locks into place. And I'm not entirely sure if you need to remove this rubber piece, but it seems like it was helpful just to let you guys uh, know how this works. So these rubber pieces slide top down, as you can see, right into the metal brackets. And we'll put the shield, let's just reinstall everything, put the shield back into place. So after we have the mesh guard on, we are going to slide the logic board back into the housing. And remember, we're going to reconnect these two cables. So that is back in there. We will reconnect the power supply, pushing straight down, reconnect this one connector here, pushing straight down again. Let's go ahead and secure those logic board screws. After that is secured into place, we can reconnect our fan Again, we're gonna connect the connector first, and that connector just goes straight down. Once that connector is in place, we're going to put our fan in place and secure the four screws. And what I like to do when I'm resecuring these is not completely screw down the screws, but I will completely screw them down once I get all four of them situated. That way we know that all the screws will align Now we will reconnect the antenna cable. This is slightly a challenge. 
All right, the connector is in. Now all we have to do is fasten the screw. Okay, remember guys, we don't want to move around this too much because the antenna cable is short. Now it will matter which way you put the screws back on because um, the back housing will only accept these larger screws in these places. Alright guys, so that is going to wrap it up for a teardown on the late 2018 Mac Mini. Um, all we have to do is place this cap back on there and we are good to go. So if you guys found the video helpful, please leave me a thumbs up, guys. Please subscribe to my channel. You guys are what keeps me motivated to put these videos out there. Without that, I would not have even taken apart this Mac Mini. So again, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more tech videos as well as teardowns, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.